So I, I don't like Glee anymore. No. Uh, I sort of know how it goes. Yeah. Well, and, and it it stopped being funny and turned into left wing propaganda. Now it's just like telling me what a bad person I am all the time. Oh yeah. See, I haven't got, I haven't gone back to it in a while. Yeah, I stopped when it when it made that switch. Okay. Uh, but they're trying to do a, a campaign. So I was gonna say you're watching it. No, no, no. They're they're running PSAs with the kids, like the people from Glee. Oh, I see. Trying to get, uh, trying to say that you shouldn't call people retarded anymore. What do you think about that? I think it depends on whether or not the person is actually a retard. Like, if you think that the person, if the person's actually retarded, it's not okay to call them. Really didn't. A retard. In that case. Yeah. Uh, what I'm wondering, I'm wondering if if retard is okay. Well, it's a different pronunciation. Yeah. I'm wondering if that's sufficient. Yeah. To bring it around. A retard. Yeah. It has kind of a kind of an upper class. I don't like when people refer to someone they don't like as a dick. Because dicks are beautiful. They're incredible. Yeah, I mean. It's an art form. I only really look at mine, but it's. But you've been impressed. Great. You've seen it grow and change. Yeah. And so I don't think that's right. To disparage dicks. Peni. Yeah. Asshole's probably okay to call somebody, right? I mean, that's a butt. I don't know. Is it? Asshole. It's like a body part. And, it, but we don't, and the advantage is that it's a universal body part. Yeah, but does that lead to body dysmorphic issues? Where people feel like their buttholes are, or their assholes are dirty are or bad? Beautiful, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this, this leads people to believe that their buttholes are filthy. <laughs> assholes are beautiful flowers. It's an incredible product. <laughs> That should, you know, that should be recognized. Yeah, so maybe it's not okay to use it in a derogatory way. No. Maybe we need to celebrate the butthole. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea, it, it doesn't have anything to do with individual words. It has to do with, it has to do with using language as a weapon. Yeah. It's a philosophical distinction. Mm-hmm. The individual, because it, it just that, that, you know, caravan just travels from word to word. Yeah. Stamping them out. First they came for the retards, and I said nothing. So, well, soon they'll be all gone. Then, you know, they came for the douchebags. Yeah, and yeah. I said nothing. Yeah, what about douche? I still don't think that that... I mean, douches are good things. Well, yeah, but this isn't, this isn't the douche. Like, this isn't even a statement a about douche. A douchebag is, is an act of good. It's a, it's a force a for... B. Hold on a second. What happened? Hello? Hi. Hi, Tender. Oh. That's odd. Ask her if she likes douches. Ask her if she would ever call someone a retard. Oh, hey, Tender. Oh, oh, hold on. So, if, if you... Do you think it's okay to use the word retarded? Okay, so you, you so you do use it, but then you feel bad. <laughs> it's residual from like grade school. Well, no, I didn't get any harassment about it because I don't use words like that. Mike does. Um, it's one of the things that it's one of the things. Not necessary. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the the core assertion that I'm trying to make is that he is a villain, and that's one of the things that distinguishes him and I. Yeah. All right. But Oh man, yeah, you are definitely a bad person. Wow. Do we need to help people out? With other words? Yeah. That's a dangerous road to hoe. Why is it dangerous? Well, because you have to set it up. Well, yeah, you have to set it up, but but you you diminish it right away. You know what I mean? But isn't diminishing it bad? No, no, we want to diminish it. What are we diminishing? The use of the word retard. See what I'm saying? We're not diminishing the argument that you shouldn't use the word retard? No, I'm saying let's offer some real fucking alternatives. But the alternatives that we offer would be ridiculous, and so wouldn't it look like we're just making fun of the, the effort? 
Maybe, but you'd still have alternatives. I think, I don't know, I, I think it's possible to split that baby. Maybe you're right. I mean, I, I like coming up with bad words. Yeah, because it couldn't be too bad. But that's the problem, is if you try not to offend someone. Like, I like to call you shit stain. That does happen. But there's a lot of people who are... Made of poop. No. Isn't, isn't the word, like, incontinent? Yeah. Where they poop themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were good at the first part. I, so, I knew what you were talking about. If you call someone a shit stain and someone who's incontinent is standing right next to you... They'd be like, are you talking about my butt? Yeah. My ineffectual my, butt. My biology... No, 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 no. I can't control. No, 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 because that would be like a shit stainer. Like, if you called me a shit stainer, that would be somebody who creates shit stains. I am the stain itself. At any rate, in your cosmology, <laughs> I, I would be the stain in that instance. But the fact of the matter is, is that Gabe, is that the way Gabe would struggle, <laughs> like, he, he, the way Gabe would struggle, like, if you take away those key parts of his arsenal, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that seems like a funny comic to me. I don't know. I think that could be a funny comic. I think it could be a funny comic, too. And I, th I think it's okay. And what also, does I, incontinent mean that you poop yourself? Does, does continent mean something? Uh, like it's sort of like contain, disgruntled, I think. You contain poop? I spelled incontinent, but my caps lock was on. It makes it seem very incontinent. intense. <laughs> incontinent. Guy, I bet there's a lot of Google searches for incontinent. <laughs> I've been shitting myself all day. I gotta look this up. But yeah, but it's like, why am I pooping all the time? <laughs> so the older, the older definition is lacking self-restraint. <laughs> It's just, it's a problem with your moral fiber. Yeah, exactly. Yourself. It's like, what? why are you shitting all the time? Stop, just fucking stop shitting. Lacking self-restraint. I just, I can't stop pooping. Yeah, it's a symptom of a, of a deeper moral malaise. <laughs> Having no or insufficient. I like that. Insufficient. <laughs> You just don't have what it takes to keep the poop in. Yeah, I guess you're. I guess you're not. Uh, you're not on our team. <laughs> team not pooping. But yeah, I think this is something that's struggled with generally. I, I think there may be some. Uh, a comic about that, about that struggle. I think might be. So how do you set it up? Well, I think Gabe is frustrated. I, th I think that's how you set it up. Okay. Is that he? he you know, he feels put upon, right? <laughs> His tools are being taken away from him. <clears throat> exactly, because because this is something that he, this is something that he's good at. Yeah, it's like that's what that's what he that's what he does. That's like a defining characteristic, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe there's no maybe there's no escape. Maybe it's not possible to set mm, that up. I'm not sure it is. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I'm glad that only took an hour. <laughs> Maybe we need to mine our own personal lives for humor. Has anything funny happened to you recently? No. It's, it's been nonstop terror at home. Oh. No, I dreamed I was getting a blowjob and having sex at the same time. It didn't occur to me in the dream that that was impossible. It was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it was amazing. Like, I was, I was blown away. <laughs> Literally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty cool dream. Yeah, it was <laughs> sweet. It, I, I, in my mind, I was just like, you know, whatever. Like, this is this is what I've been getting to. Yeah. This is the apex. But um, you can't actually do that. It's special. Even, you know, even if I'm not, you know, it's not forked out, you know what I mean? Like, it isn't like coaxial. Oh, your penis? Yeah, exactly. Like, well, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, yeah, but but uh, but I think that you can probably nope. I think that you can suspect at the no. very least. No, I mean I I put no effort into guessing. Yeah, what yeah, your but I'm not talking about like. guesswork or research, or even primary knowledge. I'm saying, hey, you know, it's not like a cat of nine tails. No, I don't think about it at all. Yeah, but I'm saying you don't have to think about it in order to know. No, I would. I would have to take a. I would have to put effort into thinking. And imagining what your penis looks like. Which you're doing right now, even though you don't want to. No, I'm not. I'm no, telling you're, you that you're, I don't you're do fixated that. on it. 
not fixated. You're on it. obsessed with it now. <laughs> what is? What are its dimensions? Not How much great. damage does it deal? You know. D four. What? Yeah. What? I think your penis is a D four. What? You know what my penis is? More. Two D twelve. <laughs> Plus ten. Is that on crit? No. Jesus Christ. Crit damage is like an extra D8. Wow. Poison? <laughs> Poison damage. <laughs> Listen, we have to make comic strips. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is there, a strip in, is there a strip in that comparative? My penis deals 2D12 poison damage? I don't know if that's a strip. <laughs> it's the only thing we've laughed at all day. <laughs> yeah, but... No, no, no. It's, it's both things. It's like, yeah, you're probably a D4... You know what I mean? <laughs> is, that, is that on crit shit? No, that's an extra D8. Poison. Poison. I don't know. I think we need to roll. Um. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Is that on crit? Shit no, son. So how do, how do we lead into a conversation about... About our comparative... We haven't done a penis strip in a long time. I, I have it here written if you okay. want to read it. I reserve the right to tune it. Yeah, sure. I'm not saying that you know anything about my penis specifically. What I'm saying is that there are things about it you can probably infer, like it's base damage or something, which is low, D3 maybe, if that. You know what my penis is? Higher, like a D12, 2D12, plus 10. Is that on crit? Not even. That is plus D8. Poison. I'm not saying that it isn't weird. <laughs> how do we, how does it start there? <laughs> well, you, exactly, like you wonder what that conversation was like before that point. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, ship it. Okay, ship it. All right, get out of here, guys. <laughs> One, two, three.